another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Lucifer, Season 5, Episode number 3. Yes, before we jump into that, I just want to feature a couple comments. A special shout out to Executive uh, Producer Lisette for going through the YouTube comments, making sure there's no spoilers. Appreciate, Appreciate you. It. Um, but first, two comments from our patrons, starting with Bjorn Peterson, who comes through to say, Hey guys, like you, I love this episode. Tom Ellis's American accent was really unnerving <laughs> to hear, but I think he did a tremendous job and it sounded very good. Great acting. Yeah. I feared that we would have multiple episodes of the charade, but Chloe figured uh, it out and shot his ass. I am so glad. <laughs> uh, yeah. And Chloe putting the moves on Lucifer really cracked me up. Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah. 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 As always, much love. And I'll see you in the next one. Nice. And then executive producer Lisit also drops a comment saying, "Love the reaction, guys. This was a fantastic episode. Michael, uh, Michael's surprise was epic, and I was like." You guys screaming at my screen why nobody's figuring out that it's not the real Lucifer. Yeah. Especially Amenadale because I, I knew Michael, is, or I, he knew Michael is Lucifer's twin. Also love that Michael's gift was to bring out people's worst fears. I thought that was excellent writing and I liked how he brought out Linda's past and her fears. Mm, yeah. Can't wait for the next episode. It's another great episode. Okay. All right, and let's see what we have for YouTube. We have Terry Fisher coming through to say, I admire you for avoiding the trailers. I just couldn't do it. I even took the day off to binge watch all eight episodes of season 5A, and now I'm stuck waiting for 5B. But reactors like you are keeping me entertained while I wait. I freaking love that Chloe and Amanda Deal figured out on their own that it wasn't Lucifer. That made me so happy. Yeah, yeah. me too. I would have been so yeah. disappointed in the both of them. Like, yeah. how do you not know him? I thought um, Linda was going to... Uh, figured out sooner too. I think she should have as well because yeah. the depth of their relationship is really deep yeah. too. I totally agree. Um, Joanna uh, Roca comes through to say the trailer just spoiled these first two episodes basically and what you felt watching this episode is what we felt when watching the trailer. The difference is that we had to wait a month to see what he would do and then in the other scenes of the trailer and in every damn new photo release we kept thinking is that Lucifer or Michael? It was fun yeah. and stressful in a good way. Um, it's Jackson91 says, Chloe was the MVP of this episode. I loved her so much. Totally agree. She killed it. Like, ah, she got me, though. Once again. I, I, was, I was freaking out thinking she wasn't going to figure <laughs> yeah. it out. Yeah, so. once again. She got me. Uh, Biddy Bond comes th through to say, hello Biddy there. Bond. I've made a video on Lucifer also. He, he. Um, good for you, Biddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, great job. Yeah. Um, Angela Lucky yeah. says, could you please try doing a re reaction to one episode of Being Human UK? Don't start with the pilot episode. Just start with the first episode. We actually watched Being Human. U.S., I the think. The U.S. No, version. No, Canada version, I think. Canadian version? Yeah, I think it was Canada version. I don't know. It was one of them. Well, we watched one Being Human. I don't know yeah. if it's the same one that yeah. you are referencing. And absolutely, like, we watched the entire series. We yeah. absolutely love that show. Um, and then last two, Guido Carapellucci. I am so sorry if I destroyed that. Um, small correction, final eight episodes will not be released before the end of the year. The hope is if all goes according to plan is February 2021, followed by season six in the fall of 2021. And that's it. Um, yeah, that's the finale. Mm -hmm. And then G-Man180 says, Maze wouldn't know Michael unless he visited hell previously since she isn't allowed in heaven because she's a demon. Oh, True. that's a great point. True. Great point. True. Um, as always, we so appreciate all of your comments. Please yeah. keep those coming. We'll, we will feature as many of those as possible. And again, special shout out to Lasith for helping us uh, yeah, make sure it. we're not being spoiled. Yeah. Um, so thanks, guys. Let's jump into episode three. Um, baby, I watched the... <laughs> I saw someone comment about it, so I went and watched it. Um, one of our patrons, I think it was Kayla. Um, on the good place where you had that whole segment about the chips, I was dying. <laughs> I cracked up. So, I was like, "This is Chewing genius!" The chips. Yeah, I was like, yeah. "This had me dying." Oh my god, that! Yeah, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> now she gonna think that's fucking still Mike, bro. Hello, detective. No, no, get the hell out of here, detective. I can explain. No, I don't want to hear it. Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, okay. the desire. What do you must desire? What is it you desire? Yeah. I... I want to figure out how to disable the cameras and evidence so I can nap in there. Oh, not <laughs> Damn. Thank you. <laughs> now I know that we can't do that. It's really you. Yeah. Hi. Hey, great. 
I bought it at WB Studios. Oh, unless I'm interrupting. No, I'm not interrupting. Perfect timing. Such a gift. Oh, jeez. Wow. And Lucifer better understand she's got to process that. That is a big pill to swallow right yeah. there. Yeah, it's just like mine. Huh? Why on earth would I want that? Detective. Detective, wait. No, I don't have time for this. I have work to do. But Detective, you're the only reason I'm here. Diablo! Ted Diablo. Ted Diablo. This is ah, I have to hand it to you, Diablo. Your unorthodox methods oh, always take to stump the rest of us. You managed to bring in the kidnapper and rescue his victim in time to administer her life-saving insulin. It's damn fine police work. In the biz, obviously the man was a tremendous terror. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no thanks. Huh? I'm just a headphones. City Council. Just make sure everybody got headphones. Let's ask me to present you with this. Detective Dancer! Dancer? Sorry, Diablo. I was just pumping a suspect for leads. Oh, is that a foundation for you? <laughs> that what we are. For us. <laughs> if anyone deserves this, it's a woman who's gone from the stripper pole to the detective wow. career in just three years. <laughs> Shit, that is horrible. It's <laughs> <laughs> absolutely marvelous, I tell you. Absolutely is marvelous. Is that how you describe me, Leah? What? So if I give people the opportunity, they'll tell me what to do? Exactly. Like, bring back my baby's daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank like, you. Bring back my baby's daddy. <laughs> No, to find out what other chaos Michael may have caused up here. I mean, who knows how many people I'd have to listen to. You can see why he'd be hard to deal with. Not really. He never even came into the riders room. I usually sent him a script or all yeah. over the place. Yeah, I, can see, I can see how he could be so hard So you and the riders would work in here well into the night, and then that would come and undo all the work? Do you know how dispiriting it is to spend days figuring out a clever clue path just for your boss to replace it with a lap dance? <laughs> Vatican, please, let me explain. Vatican! I love it so much! Okay? Man, she's gotten all her body back. Yeah. Listen to me, Vatican, I'm not Michael, it's me! Lucifer, you're not my servant anymore. By all means, you're welcome to join me. I don't have wings, you idiot! Well, a manadeal does. Why didn't you just ask him to fly you down there? <sighs> Damn, you're right! I look like a dick now. Just a little thing I like to call evidence. You stole evidence from the crime scene? I'll be fair, detective. That is absolutely on brand. On oh, brand? Is yeah. On brand. <laughs> I must have gotten how much fun solving murders is. <laughs> Oh, that's been a deal. Oh, of course my lead. Same times. Same for the time. Me and Lucifer, together, side by side for eons. Oh no, that's supposed to be me. Oh, yes, my lead. Okay. Miss, you know I'm not going anywhere. Right? Maybe not on purpose, but you're going to drop dead in what? Five years? How old do you think I am? <laughs> I don't know, 30? She doesn't know how long he was living. No. Miss, <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. Obviously, it's the show. Carrie Bell would you under arrest. What, are you serious? This is ridiculous. So who will be in charge now that both of them go? Right. That's or the maybe um, Detective Dancer wants to be the lead person and not a bimbo. Well, you already had a woman in charge, man. Why would you I'm do that? I'm trying to say this from a concern. Injuries in her wrist, I mean, it'd be highly unlikely that she could stab someone with the force that made those wounds, especially with her non-dominant hand. Well, it says it right here in black and white. Diablo was certain the killer was number two. Unless he met someone else. The number two on the show. Yeah. So, this is I figured Diablo's it out. Club. Oh, and Chloe Ladies. don't know. Where Christy Dancer was a stripper before she joined the police force to solve her father's murder. You think so? Yeah. So yeah, I thought that it would call. be nearly impossible to tell you two apart over the phone. 
Oh, she must have turned self defense or some shit. So she can know how to fight. Okay, I understand killing your showrunner. And figured out what I did. He was honestly sweet and in a dopey way, but I wasn't gonna let him take away the freedom I almost got myself. I am not spending the next six seasons with my main prop as a stripper pole. You have mentioned a few times now that you are worried about going to hell. What's the problem? I literally grew up there. I, I, I do not find it. Yeah. I mean, you're right. You're right. <laughs> it's just some stupid thing humans say. Hmm. But I want to know about you, though. Your abandonment issues. And she left me. Why did she leave me? Eve? Mm -hmm. I was wondering when you'd show our face again. Brother. <laughs> Drums! Oh, that's a great visual. Welcome home. Your vacation here to Earth. The great Lucifer Morning Star, but you're not, are you? You're just Samael. Stop calling me that. Ooh, time to go ham. It's already broke. So I am sorry if your brother is a jerk to you sometimes. What you get? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have tried to stab you. Turns out you weren't the one I was upset with to begin with. Really? You're not upset with Lucifer? Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm a liar, and Lucifer always tells the truth, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Except for when he leaves things out. Like, come on! You won't believe me. Because I'm a liar, right? Why was he waiting at Chloe's house? But I can tell you how to find it out for yourself. He just be whispering. That's what he does. Ugh, Michael is the worst. That motherfucker. All right, that was episode three of Diablo. I mean, um, Lucifer. Hey, great episode. Just like I thought. I love everything about this episode right here, especially the very end. I loved the the two brothers going hand to hand combat, and then damn, right at the end, they drop another damn on our ass to be like, there's more mystery up in here, other than the one we just learned that God created there, Chloe, just specifically. No, we already knew that. Well, well we knew we knew God created, but we didn't know it was like specific. No, we totally knew that. We've been knowing that. To be her plaything. No, we've known that since. We know that forever. forever. Yeah, but <laughs> that is not something we learned. It wasn't something that was like, yeah, okay, yeah, we get. It's, no, no, the the Michael the, made it seem like it's worse than what it is. No, my, the the revelation in all of that is that Michael's been playing Lucifer this well, entire time. Well, I was getting to that. Yeah, that was the next thing. That yeah, obviously, yeah, Michael has been the puppet Catalyst. master of this whole damn thing. Now, he could be lying because he is a liar. So, but he got Lucifer all fueled up and gassed up to be like, damn you, man. But wait, that's more. Lucifer got a secret, which is probably not even that fucking big of a damn secret. Because Michael could just be blowing smoke for real. But something he not telling Chloe and something he ain't telling uh, Mezzakine. So, 
what could that be? I don't know, but this episode was giving it. It gave you the damn the projecting of solving the crime. It gave you the some 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 Dan. It gave you some Linda. It gave you some damn uh, Lucifer coming back with the team, doing what he got to do, and then he finally broke it down at the end where we got some more of the main overarching story, which is great. So now Ben's worthy. It makes you want to keep watching. So I love it. Yes, uh, definitely a solid episode from start to finish. I can't get enough of Lucifer being back on Earth with uh, Chloe. Love that might dynamic. Have to stay. That was amazing. I even liked Amenadiel being the one that has to be down there. I thought that was great. <laughs> I like that even yeah. for the sake of like, without fully addressing or uh, taking on Linda's fear because she's avoiding it, she's not discussing it. But to see that come up in their therapy session, as far as like, yo, bring my baby daddy back because like that's. She's in that place of fear right now. Yeah. I thought that was so subtle and so greatly done as far as the writing go. That was just really brilliant. Um, and then, yeah, having Chloe be on the side of projection, uh, projecting during a murder uh, mystery is typically the role that Lucifer plays. And seeing her fully step into that and like, utilizing that space to kind of therapy herself, <laughs> I thought was really, really great because um, it kind of flipped sides in that. Um, and obviously them working together was fantastic, mm -hmm. but I thought the highlight, oh, and also having Linda and Maze have just like a chill girl version, uh, uh I mean, session was amazing because yeah. we haven't got to see a lot yeah. of that with all the conflict that there's been. Um, so I love that because I love them being best friends. They're brilliant as best friends. They're super cute. I just yeah. like that dynamic so much. Um, and then... The, the, the highlight, though, for me definitely is Michael. I didn't know if Michael was coming. I didn't know if this is going to be an ongoing theme, so obviously it is. Um, but Michael coming back and having one, first off, that face off with Lucifer, but also like the fact that he dropped those bombs that he potentially has been whispering these ideas in Lucifer's head. So even the actions Lucifer thought he took to took on as himself as a rebel were potentially that, yeah. um, were things that Michael uh, planted seeds for. I hope, I, I like honestly what I really wanted to see this episode once that was a revelation that was laid is a flashback of seeing like how those seeds were planted. I I don't know if that's going to happen this yeah. season but I would love to see that because that, that has definitely intrigued me even the stuff about him going down to the garden with Eve was potentially something he yep. said that he had influence on. So, like, all of that to me is super fascinating. I mean, he had, really had some animosity against Lucifer for all these freaking eon years to just make him, just deal with his brother to just be like, I don't know. I'm going I mean, to destroy uh, you. The teasing must have been off the chain back then, you know, because somebody got to be straight driven crazy. To do this over all this time, to then do it to his brother. I don't know. It's crazy. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. Definitely crazy. And then I feel like everything Chloe's feeling is completely warranted. Like she, this is a huge mother effing pill to swallow that yeah. no other human has to swallow. Yeah. Um. That's really deep. Um. So it's I feel hard like. To deal with. Yeah. Like you can't trust in your feelings. Like. Uh, it reminds but, me of I mean, it, it reminds me of practical practical magic when Sandra Bullock does that spell so she doesn't fall in fall in love with somebody so she creates yeah. somebody that she doesn't think exists and then that person shows up. Um, so it's like, can you trust your feelings that you love her or was this something that was always going to happen? I, mean, I love that. Like, I don't know. Dynamic. I, would, I would probably be asking some questions like, okay, well, if if that's the case. If I was only put here to be your play thing, then why you let me get married? Why you let me have a kid? Why you let me, you know, all this fucking crazy shit. Up until I met you now, I know all this information. Like, what is that supposed to mean? Like, you know, why? Yeah, there's definitely know? there's so layers thing, to it. But I think she she's, lose allowed, some sleep. she's allowed to feel all the feelings she's that she feels. She's going to lose some sleep um, for a while now. So that's, that's true. And it's frustrating because, like, you see them back together. You just want them to be like, yeah. love, love, no, love, 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 love. Not yet. But not they yet. can't. Not yet. Um, but we I got thought, some more drama to go I thought it was first. a fantastic episode. I'm yeah. super intrigued with Michael being the villain and what that's all going to do. Yeah. And now with, like you said, too, the drop with Mazakeen as far as, like, what's the secret? And remember, Michael video. is the right-hand man of G.O.D. right now. Yeah. So he is a super villain. All day. Which is just a conflict today. Yeah. It's going to um, be crazy. But definitely great episode yeah all right well look thank you guys again for watching another real talk reaction for lucifer aka diablo season five episode yeah. number three and until next time people peace